guys welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to do some roti yes with curry chickpeas as you can see here um for this roti guys you're going to need um four cups of flour sugar oil salt and baking powder if you want to continue watching this video guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment if you like it and subscribe to our channel let's get straight into this one all right guys so what you want to do is to pour in your salt all your dry ingredients Baking powder, sugar, combine everything together. You want to make sure it's your hand clean, guys, right? We're going to um, gradually combine our water to create like a nice pliable dough, all right? We don't want it too tight. We don't want no tough roti, right? And I'm using all-purpose flour. Alright guys, you see how nice and soft my dough is? That's how you want to get yours, alright? So, I can't tell you to use one cup of water guys, because um, if you're using different type of flour it depends on the amount of water you're going to be using all right i find that the all-purpose flour in jamaica is a little bit um rougher than the all-purpose flour that is sold overseas so you have to just add your water gradually to just form a nice dough all right so what i'm going to do now guys is to just grease the surface of my dough with some oil And while this is resting, the, the oil will not um the oil will prevent it from drying out. All right. So I'm gonna use some thing wrap here, guys, and just cover my container. So as you can see, our dough has been sitting there for a little while. Um, what we're going to do, guys, is to just remove it from the bowl, as you can see. We're going to cut our dough into five even balls. We're going to mix together some oil and some butter. We're going to brush the dough with the oil and butter. Don't worry about the circle right now. We're going to sprinkle it with some flour. So the side that you cut is the side that you're going to roll. You brush with your butter and your oil. Sprinkle with some flour.
the edges you tuck them in right and this is a peak here you just tuck it back in and you want to continue this uh, method for all of your rotis all right down to our last dough guys so you want to just kind of get it in a flat shape demonstrating it for you one last time and this um circle here will just guide you how to roll it all right and for beginners they want to roll roll with the rolling pin in one direction because remember the dough has a tendency of pulling back towards you Butter. Flour. Roll. The floppy part that's left, you tuck it in and you start to tuck in the edges. Alright? Just tuck it in. The little peak that is left also, you just use your thumb and just tuck it in. If you want to give it a nice little roll again, you can. Alright, so this now, guys, we're going to leave it for around 20 minutes to rest. And then we return. So you want to cover it. Alright, guys, our dough is ready to roll out and make our roti. You possibly can get it. So here guys, I'm not using a towel as you can see I'm using a pot bottom. Alright? So no worries if you don't have a towel. That's fine. You can always improvise and use a pot bottom. So what you want to do is to brush the pot bottom with your oil. And gently lift your roti off the the countertop and just spread it out so don't worry if you don't get it round equally right so you want to just make sure you have enough time on the pot here to kind of spread out your dough my dough is fine but I'll show you in my when I'm doing the other one so you see how nice the roti start bubbling up yes and as you can see, I'm brushing the surface of my roti with some more butter. So repeating the process again, guys. Add butter on your surface of your pot. And gently place your roti on it. You have enough time, guys. Like I said earlier, you have enough time to straighten it up. Using your offset spatula to just turn it. Beautiful. And now you can start to bust it up. Alright. Remove it off your heat. You can cover it with your paper towel or a nice cloth to not make it dry out all right all right guys so if you're actually if you want to go fast here what you don't have to spend no time to chop up no seasoning we're going to just use the food processor chop up the seasoning salt cook on dinner ready all right so we're going to add in the garlic first I did the garlic first because I never want the other seasonings to mush out, right? So you want to pulse it, not don't blend it out too much. We're gonna use the scotch bunny pepper 
Do not use the seed, guys. Just the skin. If this is adult business, no, you can't use seed, but because pick me the body place, we can't use no scotch bunny pepper seed in this one. Our sweet pepper. You see that now guys, you don't want to pulse it out too much like green seasoning bell, just blend. You want to just have it like that so you can still see everything, right? Add it in your oil. Our seasoning. Of course our curry. Our cumin, our two can of chickpeas, and this is especially for my friends who don't want to stay no long time in no kitchen, right? This little plan you go very fast. You put the, put the seasoning in the food processor. All right, see, look how nice it look already. So what I'm going to do now guys, this is optional, you don't have to use the, the water from the chickpeas but I'm going to use it in this, if, you don't, if you're up to not use it then you can use some vegetable stock. We want it to be full of gravy therefore we are using a lot. Look how nice it looks. We want to simmer this down for around 15 minutes. Because remember, I said the bean them cook already. Look at that. Still seeing a little speck of red. Beautiful. Now, look at this, guys. How beautiful and flavorful this is. Now, what you're going to do now, guys, is to just crush some of your beans because we won't be using any slurry in this. And that will give the chickpeas a little body. Yes, look at that. Oh my god. Enjoy this with white rice, roti, anything. Yeah, this is it. Now guys, we don't want to dry out the water too much because remember so everybody want gravy if you mop up with them um, roti, right? So this is okay as is. Beans cook. Very easy meal this guys to make. What you know guys? Oh my gosh. Something to have, make you happy, right? Yes, this is what I like, this is what my family like, and I'm sharing it with you guys. And see, over here I have my roti that um, I cover in the foil paper just to keep it nice and warm. Let me show you now what I'm going to do with this now. Look how nice and fluffy it is. Oh my gosh, this is just heaven on earth. Look at it now, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. Nice and fluffy roti we have, guys. Mm -mm. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Until next time, bye.